championship behaviors are the same as non-negotiable behaviors. They're the, the maintenance behaviors that allow us to build a culture. And here are some of them we had at Nebraska Volleyball. If you're on time, you're late. And if you're the team captain, you probably need to be there half an hour early. In all my years of coaching, in all my years of coaching, I can only remember one player being late for one function. My, my second year there, um, the starting setter was late when the bus was about to pull away. We were going down to Kansas State, and the bus driver looked at me and said, what do I do? And I said, we go. So we're driving down 17th Street, and she's pulling up in this old beater car, honking the horn. And the bus driver looked at me, and I said, continue. Go on. Finally, about six miles south of town, I became concerned for her safety. Um, I wasn't sure the car could get back to town. She was driving. So she pulled over. She got on. But we didn't play her at Kansas State. Those kids told that story for the next 23 years. If you're, on, if you're not on time, you're wasting everybody's time, you know? 10 minutes times 20 people is a lot of minutes. So we never had to deal with that. Great effort on every play is not a decision. I'm not gonna decide whether or not I could have played the ball. And the way to teach this is, if you have a player and she doesn't go for a ball, just grab another ball and throw it about twice as far away. There's no reason to have a, an, an argument or a discussion about it. It's just a behavior that we don't need to think about. Kids spend more energy uh, deciding what they're going to do rather than just going ahead and doing it. We need, to, we need to make that decision for them. We will maintain eye contact on interactions with, the, uh, with our team members and, and coaching staff. You don't want to go into a huddle and it's a, a critical timeout, and, and somebody that's supposed to be committing on an outside hitter on the other side of that is looking up in the stands. They need to maintain eye contact. They need to maintain eye contact when they interact with each other. We will maintain the sacredness of the team. When players struggle on a team, we don't want them taking that struggle to their boyfriend or other friends, or dealing with it outside the team. The, you know, if, you've got a, if you have an issue with a player, you need to talk to her. And we'll, we even ta taught them how to, how to do that, how to, how to uh, share conflict. Sometimes, particularly with women, that can be difficult because they would prefer to deal with it in other ways. But we can teach them that behavior. On <clears throat> off-court decisions, we'll ask ourselves, does this decision put our team in a, better in a better position to reach our goals? It's almost like every player and every coach has a watch. You know how you go through a, ca a cafeteria line and you know what you need to do is fuel, but you reach for something else? You know, unless you ask yourself, is this decision consistent with my goal? So we never had a bunch of rules. We never, uh, we never, never handed a team a bunch of rules. Now you may have to today, I don't know. 